it's hard to put a, a monetary value on kinds of, the kinds of things that really do happen in this place. And unfortunately in the world, there's price tags on everything. Fundraising is such an important thing for School of Imagination. If we don't get people donating and supporting, we can't grow. And there's so many kids that are on the waiting list right now. Um, we could open up a whole nother school and it would be full. So luckily we're sustainable as a business, you know, due to our fantastic board of directors and our finance team. So as a business, we're sustainable, but we never have extra. Any donations that are given go directly to scholarships or program development. Uh, my name's Becca and my daughter's name is Macy and she goes to the School of Imagination. She's been going here for about one year. She's in the Step 3 program. Um, initially she started in the TK Plus program and she had a couple weeks where it was hard like any other kid, you know, but she did great and she started thriving in this class. She started talking more because otherwise it was more just like grunts and um, pointing, lots of frustration. And then about her, about Christmas time around here is when she just started on like almost like back and forth conversations. And um, all of that was due to just the socialization, the one-on-one. -on -one. If, if I didn't have that financial aid, I don't know if I would have been able to attend this school. What makes School of Imagination so special is the love that happens in the building. Um, all the team members are very focused on the children. It really does make a huge difference when they come in and they're happy and they're excited to be here. Then they're excited to learn and that excitement for learning carries them through their whole life. Even though they're so little, this is the time that they're learning everything and they're developing their personalities and they're developing, their brain is developing and they're learning how to interact with the world and they're becoming little people. And so if they're great little people, they're gonna be great bigger people and make a really positive impact on the world. Before I worked here, I was just scrolling on the website like all the time, cause I'm like, oh, I really wanna work there. I, I want that to be my boss. I wanna learn from her, I wanna know. And I loved her story about how she just wanted a place for these kids to go and she got emotional and I'm like, that is the kind of, like, that's me. That's, that's my kind of person. I love her perspective. I love working with her. And I love that she, yeah, had a vision and, and somehow created this whole place and people believed in her too. And I think that's what keeps bringing people here is like just, you know, you trust, you trust her, you trust Mitch. The fact that they even offer this financial aid and that the board members themselves will go into their personal pockets to help families, like that to me spoke volumes of the school and the people that run it. Um, and just Miss Charlene, Mr. Mitch, like they're just good wholehearted people. The board is and it's, you can see that, you can feel that here. We could very easily just kind of stay in this routine here, but like we want to help more children. We want to make a bigger impact in this community to, I don't, I don't like that we have a wait list. I don't like that there's kids that don't get the help that they need. Um, so we keep going and we keep working.